Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've ever wanted to bring your Figma prototypes to life with interactive drag and drop features, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to walk you through, step by step, how to set up a drag and drop interaction in Figma. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make your UI elements respond to user gestures, which is super useful for demonstrating apps, games, or even just sprucing up your design presentations. So let's jump right in. All right, first things first. For this demo, I've set up a few simple square shapes on the canvas. You can do exactly the same, just use the rectangle tool and quickly make a couple of squares. Don't overthink the design here, they're mainly for us to interact with. What's important is that you have at least two shapes or frames to mimic something being dragged from one place to another. It can be as simple as squares, but you can use any shape that fits your project. The goal is to get comfortable with the drag and drop logic. Now, once your shapes are ready, move over to the prototype mode. You'll find the prototype tab right at the top, next to design and inspect, just click that. Prototype mode is where all the interaction magic happens in Figma. Think of it as switching from drawing the blueprints to actually setting up how your users will experience your design in real time. Next, let's connect the interaction. You'll notice when you select one of your rectangles, there's a small circular node, almost like a tiny handle on its border. This dot is your interaction starting point. Click it, then drag that arrow over to your second frame or the spot where you want your square to move to. The mechanics are similar to connecting dots or linking text boxes in other softwares. If you've ever drawn a line between two points to show how things relate, it's the same concept. Once you've established this connection between your first rectangle and the next frame, a settings panel will automatically pop up on the right. Here where we fine-tune the action, look for the interaction area, it should read something like on click by default but let's change that, click on it and select on drag instead. This means whenever someone drags the rectangle the prototype will respond. It's much more intuitive for a drag and drop feature, just like moving files around on your desktop. Now for the action, set it to navigate to and make sure it's pointed to your target frame. For animation, choose ease out. This gives your drag action a nice natural slowing down effect at the end, mimicking how real objects come to rest. Set the duration to 800 milliseconds. It may sound precise, but this little detail makes the movement smooth, just under a second which feels responsive without being abrupt. If you want to experiment, you can always adjust the duration later to your own preference. And that's pretty much it. If you preview your prototype now, you should be able to click and drag your shape and watch it animate to the new frame just like you'd expect in a functioning app. Is it perfect the very first time? Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes you might need to tweak your frames, positions, or interaction settings to get the exact feeling you want, and that's totally normal. Don't get discouraged. Figma is all about experimenting and seeing what works for your design goals. Alright, if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like, and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or want to see more prototyping tricks in Figma. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new tip. Thanks for watching and keep designing.